Who is Anaximandros? 1. Life History of Anaximandros In 610 BC, a child was born who was named Anaximandros. Anaximandros was born in the same city of Miletus as Thales. Anaximandros was a pupil of Thales. He enjoys investigating natural phenomena such as the shining sun, eclipses, lightning, and also the origins of living things. Although he was younger than his teacher Thales, Anaximander died before Thales, in 546 BC. 2. Anaximander's Thought In contrast to Thales, Anaximander's investigation of natural phenomena was broader. He not only observed natural phenomena on Earth, but also outside the Earth, namely the universe such as the Sun, Moon, and stars. He saw that the Sun, Moon, and stars were shining. Anaximandros found the same thing in the fire. The fire also produces light. He then realized that the sun, moon, and shining stars were hot objects like fire. According to Anaximandros, fire does not contain water, in fact water and fire are opposites. This means that Thales principle about water being the source of everything is not true. Furthermore, Anaximandros observed many opposites in everyday life such as solid and liquid, day and night, heat and cold. Starting from this phenomenon, Anaximandros concluded that the basis of everything is infinite resistance. This unlimited is called to a pyron. The word to a pyron comes from the Greek, namely a, which means not and paris, which means limited. In the beginning, to a pyron or unlimited resistance was a hot and cold resistance. Then, the heat covers the cold. This heat resistance produces hot objects, namely, the sun, moon, stars, and cold objects, namely, the earth. According to Anaximandros, originally the earth consisted of water. But because of the light and heat of hot objects such as the sun, moon, and stars, part of the earth dried up and land appeared. According to Anaximandros, living creatures came from water on earth. The first living creature to climb onto land was not a human, because the baby was weak and needed the help of another human. The first living creature to come to land was a kind of fish. Then, these fish-like creatures adapted to live on land and became humans. Anaximander's theory of human origins became the basis for the theory of evolution developed by many figures in the modern era. Anaximandros can also be said to be the pioneer of the theory of evolution. Thank you for watching, see you in the next discussion.